So this is the first video cast that we'll be doing uh, for a series of AIDS updates. And this is the AIDS update after Croy, where Dr. Berger was uh, in Montreal. Right? It's the largest and biggest, most important AIDS conference that is usually held in the U.S., so how was it? There was 4,000 individuals attending this year's conference, and much, much research uh, came out of the conference and was discussed. Is this bigger than CROI usually is? Is it bigger than...? It seems to be growing year by year. It is a vetted conference, and not everyone can attend. Well, what's the, uh, the process of attending then? Uh, one has to submit an application. You either have to be an author or you then have to submit an application. And it's up to the uh, conference directors to, uh, to admit you or, or not. And I heard this year they did a special dedication? They did. The opening ceremony was very well done, but John Meller, who is the, this year's chair of the conference, mm -hmm. did a very soulful tribute to Martin Delaney. And as, as many of you know, Marty was what I consider the father of AIDS activism. Even though uh, he was not HIV positive in, in this, uh, he never uh, had HIV infection or was never HIV positive, he, since the very beginning of the epidemic, took it upon himself to help individuals that were HIV positive to either get medications or serve as an advocate. And one of the most important things that he accomplished during his, in his role of uh, AIDS activist is that he was probably the person that was most responsible for getting early expanded access programs. In other words, for people that need new medications, he was responsible for uh, the government to change their policy right. so that people that, for any chronic disease now, or any life-threatening disease, they can actually get medications for which may not be available on th in the drugstores. And this was, this was very groundbreaking in the first time. It was very groundbreaking. He also founded uh, Project Inform, which right. was very important in terms of getting educational materials. And you know, going back in the 90s and 80s, you know, where there's no internet at the time, uh, the newsletter from Project Inform was some of the things that were, were very important trying to get information out to people about what they can do about treatment and how they can even feel better. So uh, we should do a tribute ourselves to Mr. Delaney, and uh, I'm glad that they did at Croy.